I have been an artist. I do a bunch of stuff, but I, in my early years, I started drawing cartoons and eventually painting pictures. I went to uh, Sheridan College in Oakville for um, animated filmmaking, classical animation. I've always been into the arts. My mother was into the arts. She was an artist. She didn't really have a chance uh, when we were growing up to explore that, so she continued her artistic uh, endeavors after she retired from work. And she showed me a few things how to draw, like uh, human figures and cartoons, and she did a bunch of that. So I've always been an artist, um, writing music, songs, music, etc. I have an artistic approach, like I, I balance art and science, but I, I feel I can speak through art more than I can speak through words, or with words, because, uh, you know, people don't like to hear certain words. You know, you, you express something and they get upset, right? Especially these days, you got to be really careful. But through art, I can say just about anything I want. And I could say it uh, as an allegory. I could say it in a, in a way to express myself. Like I got the feeling out, but I'm not directly saying it. And people do have to read between the lines and, um, you know, that's whatever. They have to maybe interpret certain things. I'm just looking at stuff around the world, like how governments uh, basically let things happen, whether it's a pharmaceutical nightmare or people dumping toxins into rivers and waters. Like, I don't make those decisions. And I don't agree that people should be pumping poison into oceans and, and screwing up the planet. Um, but government regulations have allowed stuff like that to happen. And every time there's a problem, people say, well, it's a big problem. Um, especially nowadays, uh, the people have to suffer. So the government makes certain decisions and the people and end up having to suffer because of it. So those are kind of my views on the world. And I express them through songwriting and through painting. I have a painting I painted, I have a painting I painted in 1991 called Fear of the Unknown. And Fear of the Unknown was basically, um, it's a painting on my view of the world, like the world is a jungle. Um, and it's about constant fear, like society in a jungle in a constant state of fear, basically. And toward the bottom right, I think, of the picture, everybody's looking toward that. So looking toward the bottom right, we don't see anything. The audience, whoever is looking at the painting, doesn't see anything. All the creatures seem to see something at the bottom right. We're not even sure what they see. So it's like, we'll never get to actually see what the cause of the fear is, but we're in a constant state of fear. and. I'd always thought, like as a younger person, looking at, looking at politics, never really getting into politics, that that's, you know, politicians, um, governments like to control the people. That's been pretty obvious to me for many years. So in 1991, I thought, I'm going to express that through this painting. And there's giant eyeballs everywhere. And it's constant surveillance. So I was thinking about we're under a state of constant surveillance. We're under a state of constant fear. Um, there's um, suggestions of um, uh, gene editing, how uh, people, humans can merge with different things. Like there's a, you'll see like a, a foot merged with a tree, merged with an onion, or a foot merged with a tree, merged with a, like a tomato or something. And um, I made a Salvador Dali reference in it as well, where time is, is melting and Time is melting chocolate. I don't, I don't remember exactly what I meant by that. <laughs> but right in the middle of the painting, there is a, um, uh, a cutout into another universe. Or I guess in, like getting out of this world into a universe or into the universe looking for another planet or something as an escape. So there's a little rift, a little tear in the fabric of our society. Um, and it's shaped like a clown head and a snake body. Because I th think this world is a bit of a clown world. I always have thought it was a bit of a clown world. And um, there's a bunch of snakes running it. Snakes and clowns run the world. So that was my kind of, uh, I guess, allegory. right? And there's pencils. There's gi giant pencils standing up uh, because of these eyeballs and pencils. I used to be a security guard in the 1980s for, I think it was like three years or something. 
It was a very short period of time, but we had to write down everything on our little notepad. Everything that happened, everything that occurred. And if nothing was happening for an hour, you write down like nothing's happening, basically. So you're constantly writing things down. So we're being watched, and there's records being kept. And uh, well, that is exactly true these days, I guess. So that, that was my window into the future. That was my um, vision of a possible future, or a likely future. Uh, based on like uh, cartoon drawings. That's a uh, fear of the unknown. So I got to say that in my art and uh, look where we are today. Oh my god, I'm not saying I predicted anything. I'm just saying that these are my visions of that time, or sorry, a possible future and especially at that time, right? Because, you know, there's just the whole fear thing. The alternate name for the piece is called the Universal Clown Snake. And that's at the bottom. I used to, I used to name my paintings at the top and sign it and at the bottom. 